So when your soul joins back together, yep. what happens if... Oh, 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 oh. We'll get to when it joins back together when we <laughs> yeah. come up through this. But um, what happens if one half of the soul led a really peaceful life and one half of the soul didn't? <laughs> well, the, the soul combines even with all of those emotions. Uh, but there's a process that the one who lived a non-peaceful life, a violent life, that they will need to go through to work through some of their emotions. But those memories will be retained by both the complete <coughs> unit at the end. But every memory, you think about it with your own life, you have memories that are emotional, don't you? And you have memories that are no longer emotional, don't you? Why? Because you've dealt with them. And it's very much the same here. Eventually you get to the stage in your progression where you have all the memories of your existence but no emotional attachment to those memories because they are now dealt with. They become a part of your experience and they've defined your personality but they are no longer something that you get emotional about. So, for example, you've all heard of Luther, the founder of the Lutheran religion. Well, when he was on earth, he had some pretty bad viewpoints. Do you, do you know that? I know the recent movie about him sort of painted him with a glowing portrait, but he had some terrible viewpoints about women. He, he called women subclass, and he said the best way to keep a woman was to keep her in the home. And barefoot and pregnant, yeah, there's an extension of it. Now, Luther is now one of those spirits that I have mentioned who is up above what's called the eighth sphere of the spirit world. And, and he's, he's in the celestial kingdom. He is actually at one with God now. So he had to go through the process of working through those emotions. Does that make sense? 